Meantime, with rents to pay of their own and employees who want to work, some businesses are trying to open up again after being closed. For some, it's a first step to try to come out of this nightmare. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim has a look at the changes happening right now. There's now only one way to enter and one way to exit. Massive partitions are up at the registers, cardboard blocks the countertops, and free hot dogs for hospital workers. At Gray's Papaya on the Upper West Side, a New York staple, comfort food is back. But the comfort isn't all about just the dogs. It's a simple fact, they're open again. Just make me feel like a New Yorker again. Closed for almost a month because workers say they were nervous. Yesterday they reopened with limited hours. And it's not just restaurants. We've noticed around the city, one by one slowly, more and more businesses are starting to come back. In Hell's Kitchen, from a welcome back to a reopening Friday, signs of life returning in New York. You just have to look for it. Eh. Yesterday was a little slow, today we're picking up a little more. The Times Square Diner closed for almost two months, back up and running yesterday after its PPP money from the second wave of payments to small businesses finally arrived. They've scaled down the staff from 20 to 4, and it'll go like that for at least a few months. But that's four more jobs than there were last week. This is the sound of relief. It's good, it's good. It's also nice to get out the house. <laughs> a lot of stores beginning to open up, even though they're closing early but it's been more of a movement going on around here. This week? This week, yeah. And if you stop and chat with doormen, the eyes and ears of the city, they'll tell you what they see. More people out, heavier traffic. Actually, it feels great. It was, it was very depressing, you know, being out here. Who would have thought you'd be glad to see traffic?